Hey everyone, this is Ben over at uh, Mini Cooper Experts in Glendora. And I have an example here of the carbon buildup that's uh, happening on the back of the intake valves. You may have gone to the dealer and had a check engine light or something like that, and they said, oh, we have to do a carbon cleaning. Well, this is what they're doing. They're taking the uh, intake manifold off and coming in, going into the valve. See how gummed up that is right there, that valve. I'm trying to get a clearer picture here for you. But uh, that's the valve gummed up. Try to show you the other one over here. It's kind of hard to see. See how that one just kind of looks like it's a little lighter in color on the left side there, as opposed to the one on the right. So that's what the dealer's doing. I know because I just came from the dealer. And we're. Uh, taking the intake manifold off and we're going in there and cleaning all that stuff out. Now with the normal uh, engine, you have the fuel injector that sits right behind the valve in here on the intake manifold. So when it injects the fuel, it sprays it so it keeps it clean. Here on this engine, your uh, fuel injector is right here. It's a direct injection. This leads right into the combustion chamber. So that's why we, we're getting this carbon buildup here. So. Um, that's what they're doing. Just a little FYI for you. And I've seen these engines maybe go through three quarts of oil in about 3,000 miles after an oil change. So it's very important if you have a Cooper S, a turbo motor, that you're constantly checking the oil. I would recommend checking the oil every three fill-ups at the gas station just to be, just to be safe because um, it can do some catastrophic da damage to your engine as I've shown on another video, okay? So have a good day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.